Power Query is definitely the bee's knees of data cleanup, but sometimes you may experience errors when importing certain files, specifically date and number errors. The reason for this is the difference in regional settings between your computer and the computer that generates the file you need to import. I'm going to show you how to fix these errors in Power Query. So let's get started. Let's say you are in the US and your client who is in France sends you an Excel file. If you look at your client's order date column, their format is in day, month, year, which is different to your format, which is in month, day, year. And if you look at your client's sales value column, they have a comma instead of a dot to show a decimal. This is because your client's regional settings are different to your regional settings. To find your regional settings, click on search, type in regional, and search finds your regional settings. Click on set regional format. At the top, we have region and regional format. You can have a different region to your regional format. It's your regional format setting that is important here, as it's this setting that defines how your dates are shown and how your numbers are shown, so whether your decimal is a comma or a point. This setting applies to all your applications on your computer, not just Excel. So as the setting is for all our applications, we don't want to change this regional setting here. We just want to import this data from France correctly. So we need to adjust our settings in Power Query. Let's import this data into Power Query. So on the top right of our ribbon, select data, select from table or range, and you can see our range is selected. Select my table has headers, select OK, and our table is imported into Power Query. If we scroll to the right, we can see that Power Query returned our date as a text value, but we want this in a date format. Click on the ABC icon for this, select date. Power Query is returning this as month, day, year, which is the regional settings of our computer as it is set to the US. The moment that the number goes over 12, Power Query returns an error because there is no month 13. We need to remove this change type step here as selecting date makes Power Query think that the date is set in your computer's regional settings, which is the US of month, day, year. We need to use the correct locale, meaning we need to select the region from where the data comes from. So this prompt comes up, we'll change type with locale, our data type, select date, locale will be French France, select that. Select OK, and we have the correct order date, which is month first, then day, then year. If we look at our sales value, Power Query returned this as any value, but we want this as a decimal number. So if we select decimal number, Power Query has removed the decimal as it's reading it in our regional settings, which is in the US. And it, this should actually be 1250.5. So to correct this, let's remove the step of changing it to a decimal and select the icon. We're going to select using locale. This prompt comes up. So for data type, we want this as a decimal number. And locale is going to be French France select OK, and Power Query correctly returns our sales values with a decimal using the dot. Let's have a look at the rest of our data before we import it into Excel. We can change this to text, also change this to text. We don't need the null values, so right click, remove, and change this to text. Also change this to text. And that looks good. So we're going to close and load. And Power Query exports this into Excel. 
As we can see, our sales value is in the correct format as the decimal has a dot and our date is in the correct format, which is month, day, year, which is also in the US format. There is another way to perform this as well. So let's import our data back into Power Query. Select my data has headers, select OK. So instead of selecting each column and changing the locale, we can go into File on the top left of our ribbon, select Options and Settings, select Query Options, and this prompt pops up. Under Current Workbook, select Regional Settings. And here is where we can change the locale for Power Query in this current workbook. Our data came from France, so we're going to select French France, select OK. As we can see, our sales value is still in the same format. And if we scroll to the right, our order date also. So to refresh this, select Refresh Preview, select Refresh All. Then go back to our column for sales value. We want this to be a decimal number. Select Replace Current. And that changes to a decimal with a dot. And our order date, as we can see, it shows day, month, year, and we want month, day, year. So select that, select date, select replace current, and our date format has changed to month, day, year, which is the correct format. So now if we import new data into this current workbook, right click Select New Query, select File, select Excel, select your file name. In this prompt window, select your tab in your workbook, select OK. And as you can see, Power Query automatically change the settings to your locale settings for the sales value. And if we look at the date, it's also automatically updated to your locale settings. So remember, these settings are just for this current workbook. But let's say you still get date errors. If we look at this order date format, it looks quite strange. So let's select the date format and Power Query returns errors. What we're going to do is use a command called column from examples. So we're going to remove this step by clicking on the X on the applied steps. So our format goes back to what it was. On the left of our ribbon, select the Add Column tab. On the left, select Column from Examples. Select from Selection as we've selected our Order Date column. A column is added at the end here, so we have our original Order Date column. So remember that our settings are set to France. So we're going to type this format in our format for France, which is day, month, year. So that's going to be 2 forward slash 11 forward slash 2020. Select enter. As you can see, Power Query starts to recognize a pattern, but then it stops at the bottom here. So let's type it in here, 14 forward slash 11 forward slash 2020. And there it continues the pattern. So now it's completely recognized our pattern. So select OK. And you can see that Power Query has added the corrected column to the end of this table. So now we can select dates as our format. And now everything is corrected as it shows in our US format, which is month, day, year. We can remove our original date column, right click remove, and we can rename this to order date, select enter, and we have the correct date format. I hope this has helped you. If you found this video helpful and you would like to learn more on Power Query, please check out my video right here. Power Query Tutorial 